Why am I serving? Hi friends, I filmed this video like two or three months ago, so yeah, the footage is a little bit old, but like enjoy this shopping vlog from me to you. Happy Sunday. Oh shit. Ew, there's so much hair in my hair. <laughs> she didn't clean it out that well. I don't mind it. I think it looks kind of nice. It looks, it's nice, it's clean. I uh, just need to take a little bit of a shower, but yeah, finally got my hair cut. And you know, this is what I mean. Like, sometimes you just need a haircut, and then you realize, I'm actually... <laughs> am I a little bit like a... Tr am I pretty? Comment below if I'm pretty. Tell me if I'm pretty. Here I am, once more, and back in San Diego. And I really enjoyed coming to Fashion Valley last time. I thought it was so like peaceful and nice and the weather has calmed down a lot since the last time I was here. Um, but if you didn't watch the last video, it's basically this really cool like outdoor shopping area, very reminiscent of the Ala Moana shopping mall in, I was gonna say Waikiki, but it's not Waikiki, in Honolulu. Um, yeah, I just really like it. So enjoy some b-roll footage. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this shopping vlog voiceover. I'll be joining you today on this experience. Um, yeah, look how beautiful it is out here. I mean, so first off, this is going to be a Nordstrom shopping vlog. And I walked in, went over to the bags. We're also going to do men's ready to wear, so don't worry. Just a quick little bag check. Uh, I personally hate when bags are displayed like this. I think it really cheapens the fantasy and it's just dangerous. I mean look at these bags like they are literally just out here fighting for their lives. Like it's survival of the fittest and Darwin is out here with his notebook just studying these bags because they are going through it. Like I, I personally I just could never. Uh, then I went to the Valentino section and I actually I've never seen these in person but I really like them. I think the leather looks really beautiful. And I like the studs. I like how far apart they are. I like how pillowy the leather is. If I were to buy a Valentino bag, I wouldn't do it from Nordstrom just because, again, did we just not witness the atrocity that was that, like, merchandising at the St. Laurent section? I personally like the Valentino bags with the multiple studs rather than the one stud. But, you know, whatever floats your boat. And again, the leather was just like so soft. Um, and then, yeah, here we are. Men's ready to wear, starting off with some Burberry. Uh, also, again, this video was like filmed forever ago. So these things are probably still available to purchase, but like on sale now, so even better. Uh, but they were doing a lot of like globe inspired stuff. So if you really want to look like Dan Levy, then like this is the collection for you. I wasn't like too much of a fan of it, uh, to be honest, but I did really like this cardigan. I thought it was nice. Then they also had like this sort of like baby blue like sweatwear collection, and then they also did like their um, their little plaid print in the in the blue. And I thought it was cute, but it wasn't like cute enough for me to be like, ooh, cute. You know, it was just like, oh, like cute. Went over to Givenchy, been trying to like get into it, but like, I don't know, I feel like they're really struggling to find an identity because obviously this font and design is very reminiscent of like the Balenciaga Gap Easy like fiasco that we had like a month ago. So um, I just feel like it's Givenchy right now is just really trying to do a lot of what other people are doing and I need them to find themselves. I need them to have their own voice. Also, like, why was that on the inside of the hood instead of the outside? I don't know. This shirt, um, in particular, the layered Givenchy shirt, has been, like, really been, like, ramming itself down my throat on social media, so I definitely had to give that a try. And again, just, like, you know, like, okay, like a varsity jacket, like, other brands are doing it better. Like, do better, Givenchy. Do better. Also, these pants are really stiff. They're like pre-distressed, but like they literally feel like 
to like they feel like they've been under a teenage boy's bed for the past five years that's how this how, that's how that feels i had to go over to my girl versace um again all of this stuff was from like a couple months ago so this is all probably on sale now and you know something that this season of versace really taught me is that sometimes it's not for you and I am the first to say I love I love Versace, one of my favorite brands. This particular collection, not for me. The La Greca like prints, I like it, but in these colors, oh no. Like the purple and the orange and the pink and the fuchsia and the teal and oh god, and then you had to make it leopard print. Like it was just it was a lot for me to digest and of course when the sale season starts you know me i'm like trying to like figure out like well what do i like what do i want and really truly honestly like i feel like if i bought anything from the current versace sale i would really be forcing myself and that's not what you want to do when you're spending that much on luxury fashion so yeah i mean silk shirts i would love a versace silk shirt this is not going to be the one this is not going to be her and again like look at that purple against that it's just so like oh like if you're that girl you know if you like a bright color then like this maybe you love this collection but honestly it was not for me it was not for me like what what is that and then this is your like PSA that new Kenzo is like killing it. Go into the boutiques because they have more stuff. You know Nordstrom is like super limited, but new Kenzo, honestly, the um, creative director Nigo, I think he's doing a great job, and I can totally see the new vision for this brand. You're ruining my vlog. I'm just tired. I'm trying on this Givenchy shirt. I've been seeing it like literally everywhere. They're like pushing it, the house down boots. But like, I don't know how to put it on. There's like multiple layers. Somebody help me. I need instructions. All right, so this is, don't mind this fucking tag, Givenchy shirt that I've been seeing everywhere. Um. I mean, is it interesting? Yeah. Do I feel anything from it? Not really. It also actually comes with this, I think, baklava that comes attached to it. So, a baklava is an Ottoman Empire era pastry. And what I meant to say was that this shirt featured a balaclava, <laughs> which is the hood face mask covering hybrid clothing article so hold on i'm about to rock your world y'all is that a wait hold on i swear i'm gonna rock your world <laughs> it's just not really like Oh god, no. Imagine walking around like this thinking I did something. I'm like, yeah. What, this? What am I wearing? Givenchy? Yeah, no, yeah. Like, I mean, this is not it. Take off the top half. I like it without the top half. Yeah, but then look at it like hanging off. That's Just fine. It looks like a hat. It's giving the like, legend it's like lean. Like, It's kind of cute, but it's also like falling off. Well, let's look at this Kenzo sweater. Like, can you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> can you do like a different frame? <laughs> I do love it. I, I tucked it in too, by the way. It's like giving like it's a, a pretty it's like, like a nice standard like knit sweater. Knit sweater, yeah. Hands on the wall. <laughs> no, just stay looking that way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we need to reissue. Yes, oh, Viva um, Mexico. Um, that's really that's, weird. No, that's, that's cute. They're so structured that I actually 
I think you just have to break it in. Yeah. Wait, but that's a really cute shirt. I if it wasn't my size. I love the neck. I love the neck too. I love the neck. I love this huge. I mean it's oversized. How much is these? I can't tell. Five seventy five. I do like this a lot. It is really cool. Yeah, I love the back. I love the back. It's like fully embroidered. This feels interesting because I can feel this against my skin. Mm -hmm. But then also because it's so structured, like... Yeah, I mean, this is like kind of like weird, but like I think you just need to break it in. It's just been sitting on the rack, that's why. Yeah. Like maybe after a few washes, it like loosens up. But that's cool. I, re I really, I, I really cool. like that. And the back is... The back is really nice. Like the, every little detail, like it's not like one whole snake, it's actually each individual scale is like its own little embroidered like piece. I know it's cool. Why am I serving? Answer the question, answer the oh. question, <laughs> answer it. I don't even know what you <laughs> Little off white moments. I really like it. Usually, I hate like embroidered pieces against my skin, but I'm honestly not that mad at this. It's really nice. This would suck in a summer situation. Um, I would hate to be sweating, but wow, look at the back. I mean, you know what? I'll be right back. I want to Oh, don't do that with your arm. Your left arm. No, stand straight. Wow. That is so cool. How do you feel about these? Semi interesting, no? Oh, wow, these are, um, these are lots. Well, of course you would gravitate to those. Those are so good. I don't like them. <laughs> then why are you looking at them? Because yeah, I just want to look at them. Out of disgust. Yeah, I thought the same thing. I like the ones next to me. I'm gonna try these on. Uh, seen these in person. Thoughts? Opinions? Oh, okay. Damn, I hate these. These feel terrible. Ah, yes. A man of taste. Ooh, these are actually quite comfortable. They are comfortable, I know. They that's like why. So much more than yours. <laughs> that's why I wear them every fucking day. No, they stretch. Like 620? Oh. I bet. I paid too much for those in Taipei. <laughs> oh, cool. What a that's a really How cool detail. I don't know. I'm about to get high as fuck sniffing these shoes. These have never seen the light of day. Straight from the factory into the box into these hands because they smell. They smell like straight up like gasoline and nail polish. Damn, I'm huffing for real right now in this North Stop. No, these are actually really cute. I think they're cute and fun and casual. I think so. Too. And flirty and easy. They're really fun. They're they're like really fun, normal. I could see them with like step, 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 babies first steps. These aren't as uncomfortable as I remember them actually. Ooh. I would change up the socks, maybe. Yeah. But these are actually really cute on me, right? I like them. I love like the pop of like the neon. And the back is really cute too. Ooh. 
Like up close, they're really busy, but then like just when you really look at them from like a nice distance, it kind of like harmoniously comes together, you know? These are nice.